Hello, Xavier. Good morning. Hello. Uh, I would like to listen your opinion on a couple of things. But first of all, let me introduce Professor Xavier Bazogain. Professor Xavier Bazogain uh, is going to talk with us about thinking about you. And as you know, you means your online utilities. Xavier is a professor in Basque Country University. He is an expert and he has a solid experience in distance learning, in didactic video production, the teaching courses in digital systems and microprocessors and so on and so on. And his research is in soft computing science applied to STEM. Um, Xavier is uh, coordinating several courses in presence and in distance. Uh, he is, um, is uh, uh, for uh, Latin America and many other Spanish uh, countries. And um, um, I can say that Xavier is really what we can call a blended teacher. He works in presence and distance with a very solid experience. Thank you, Xavier, uh, to share with us your experience, your expertise. And let me put you some important questions for us. These questions are related with presenting contents. And to present contents um, from a didactic communication point of view, it's very important today to help our students and guide them. What is your recommendations for good practices? to make good presentations. Thank you, Antonio. Uh, I think the, our students are multimedia students. Then means that we need to communicate our contents, our knowledge, with multimedia contents. One of them is a presentation. When I say presentation, I like to say to a PowerPoint, a presentation made with a tool that can synthesize your speech. I think we have to do two rules. One is to structure our discussion. I mean, you should think what are you going to say and then to structure in a small presentation your ideas. And the second is to implement these ideas with short text and with uh, images, images can complement and improve your ideas. Then I think a presentation should be short, uh, easily to see, um, easy to understand what you mean in your text. Thank you very much, uh, uh, um, uh, Xavier. Uh, and um, about tools to produce these presentations. Uh, we have, um, let's say, uh, a recommendation from uh, the, the, the research, uh, a couple of tools. I'd like you could comment from um, these tools uh, what you think will be the best and uh, what you recommend, so maybe some other complementary tools, etc., and so on and so on. Well, um, I think we have a lot of tools that can allow us to make good presentations. I think uh, there are two principal classes, if you are Mac, Macintosh or family or no Macintosh, and the other thing is you need to have a tool in UPC or you have this service in the cloud, in cloud computing. I mean that it depends what you are to do, you need some or another tools. In my case, I am working many years with traditional PowerPoint or Microsoft. I think there are another um, tools uh, that mm, can allow us to do our presentation. For example, recently in the two years ago, I am working with, uh, with a strong manner 
with Google Drive services in order to do uh, collaborative presentations and also to publish. I think this is another uh, emergent idea of our our days that every day every thing you make you can distribute the, you can dis go um, give the distribution to publish in the in the internet in the web then i think uh, both things to make presentation like i told before a short text implement with images and you can publish in a short way just to click to ties your mouse. So you mean Google Drive in the end? Yes, so? Yes, I think so. And about, about the, um, the tools you have in the screen, um, are there some you should complement as well or are some of them that uh, you will not uh, you will not recommend well I, I don't like to say what not to recommend it I think I I think there are some more easily to use and others are more are expensive or, or there are in the cloud for example I I think that policy is very uh, good first impression but I don't, I don't know if it is very useful for to distribute in local way for example but this is my opinion also a uh, slide share is for me just a way to to find in the internet different presentation but I don't know if you make the presentation with this tool I think it's just to distribute um, and others, I, I don't, I don't know very much about um, Visio. I think is for technical reports to make um, organigrams, um, different uh, slides for for computer programs. I think. Um, there are many tools and I assure that every day we, we, find, we are going to find new tools that can allow us to perform our presentations. Okay, thank you very much, Xavier. Let's go to the next, uh, <clears throat> to the next question. And the next question is presentations or videos? Or presentations and videos? Um, this is uh, uh, not the, a fashion. Uh, today we need uh, both. Can you just compare and comment the importance of each one, please? Yes, of course. I think the, the, the video is a good resource for the education, but you should do, you should create a video when the objective you are finding in your student is very uh, important. I mean, if you need to communicate some ideas, perhaps a basic presentation is enough, but sometimes in different uh, contexts, a video can improve your communication. I mean, in a video you incorporate your voice, you incorporate your add value, how about you explain uh, document and content, um, material and subject that perhaps in an static presentation is it could the will not be integrated. Then it depends. I mean, the, I think that to create a video is important. Is uh, you need a force, um, is, but if you think the final goal is good, perhaps you need to create a video. With, a, with different advantages. For example, once you have created this video, our students can replay the video many times and they need and can catch your spirit when you are talking or you are describing your content through video. But I will repeat, there is not 
immediately easy to create a video. You need to to be become an expert with different uh, new tools to create videos. Okay, thank you very much. And uh, now let's see uh, types of videos and types of tools. Um, you mentioned that there are different types. So uh, let's see some tools. And can I have your comments as well about uh, the importance of each tool and maybe some other tool that it's not uh, reported in the, in the screen? Well, uh, I think uh, the tool you need to, to, to use to create your video, it depends about how will be your, your content. I mean, if it is a traditional lecture, Perhaps you need just uh, record your whole, whole talking head and you can use, for example, the record uh, tool of YouTube. It's very easy just to click your camera from your Google account. However, if you need to create a um, step-by-step -step demonstration about uh, software or uh, algorithm, mathematical, etc., perhaps you need another kind of tool that can incorporate the screen of your computer, the, the different um, applications you have open in your computer. Then, for example, in my case, I am using Camtasia from more than 15 years ago. I think it's a good and professional um, tool than the final re um, product is very good. Then in my case I think also for example uh, some records like our speaking Antonio it could be enough for meetings with students to, to have different um, times to share how the dubs or you can motivate to motivate them with different uh, questions then it depends of what is the final product you, you need then you use different uh, tool. In my case I, I reinforce that Camtasia I think is a good and uh, is a affordable cost it is cost more or less thirty five thousand uh, sorry uh, I had four hundred dollars and it is sorry. is yeah. sorry. that is not for education. For education costs you one hundred and eighty dollars, like eighty euros or something like that. So you, you are more much, you are much <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I, okay, you, you are right, you are right. And you are I think, rich. Uh, you are, you are rich. <laughs> I will, I will. If I were rich, you know the song? <laughs> if I were rich, I do many things. <laughs> okay, uh, this is my opinion about how to edit or to create video. Yeah, but I, I agree with, uh, with Camtasia. There are some other similars, but Camtasia is a very compromising in quality and price. Okay, Xavier. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure to be with you and uh, to listen to your opinions about our work in progress. Thank you. You, Thank you, you, are wel you are welcome and I hope you see you again in another time. Bye, Antonio. Thank you. Thank you, Xavier. Bye-bye. Thank you.